Hi, and welcome back to Concrete 5 Basics. You know, today I'd like to address an issue I see come up quite often, and that's about branding or simply renaming your site and how to go about it the easiest way. So let's take a look at our home page here. We can see my URL up in the navigation bar is c5samplesite.com. But here in this area, the logo area of my theme, it reads Concrete 5, which is the default setting for a, a site that hasn't been named. And furthermore, if we take a look up here at the tab of our browser, it says Concrete 5, the default name, and the page that we're on, Home. So let's address all of this and see if we can clean it up and really get that look and identity that you need to have on your site so that it stands out. We'll do this by addressing it in three different areas. Uh, one is the basic site name area of the dashboard. Easy if you know where to look for it. Secondly is customizing that to a stack area also in the dashboard. And then lastly we can dress up uh, the tab in the metadata of our site by going to the bulk SEO page. So let's start. I'm already logged in. We're going to go right over to Dashboard. And when you open the Dashboard, if you look at the bottom left, you'll see a shortcut for Systems and Settings. Essentially, that's page two of your Dashboard offerings. When we navigate to System and Settings, it opens up a number of very useful tabs but we're going to look right away to the upper left here where it says basics and the first thing on the list is site name. I'm simply going to open that up and where it says concrete 5 I'll type over that with C5 sample site and save. Now, what's happened? Right away, if we take a look up at the tab, you'll see on our browser tab, now the site name has changed there. Let's return to our website view. And again, as it was on the dashboard, now my URL, C5 Sample Site, matches the data on my browser tab, C5 Sample Site and Home. So we know that that's been effective. However, here my logo area is still saying Concrete 5. So obviously, there's an element of our theme that's overriding the basic site name. That's done under the Stacks area. So again, let's go up to the Dashboard. And when it opens up, there's an area, a chapter here that says Stacks and Blocks. Let's open up Stacks. And stacks are simply blocks that can be accessed from any page throughout the website. Insert it. Uh, it. It's quite an elaborate clipboard, actually. And there's already a global area for site name. Now, here under site name, it says Concrete 5. Well, we don't want it to say that. So let's edit that content block. And we'll change it to... Again, C5 Sample Site. Now here's the tricky part about dealing with stacks. Although we've made the edit and we've saved it, before you can continue, you must go to Approve Changes. It's that second safety step to make sure you really did want to implement that. Now under Site Name, our new text logo says C5 Sample Site. Let's return to the website. And there you can see the original Concrete 5 text has been replaced. Now, it says what I want, but it's a little bit drab. Let's dress it up a little. Back to Dashboard. Now I can go down to my recent, my shortcut, so to speak, and click on Stacks. And under Site Name, again, open this. And here's the beauty about Stacks. 
we can add, we can do multiples uh, and really get quite versatile. I'm going to add another block to the site name stack. And I'd like it to be an image block so that I can add a physical logo. Choose the image. By choosing image, it opens up the file manager. And I've already uploaded a logo that I like. Well, quite honestly, I, I borrowed it from Concrete 5. I'm going to select that and choose it. Now, just by simply adding that, it now opens up this part of our stack selection. And remember, our final step in stacks, approve the change. Now that it's approved, let's return to the website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. We've got the text, take it or leave it. I can take it back out, and I've got an image logo, which I can display by itself or add to it or modify in the stack files. Again, we've gone a long way to both now having our site named so that it matches our URL, and we've added a graphic image to our logo title area. Really does a lot. Now the last thing that I'd like to point out, a little bit of a pet peeve for me, once again we go up to the site and our site name reads C5 Sample Site and Home. Well, a little bit redundant I feel. We already know that we're on C5 Sample Site by the URL, by the site name, and that we're on the home page. So let's clean that up a little bit. Dashboard, Systems and Settings, and this time underneath the tool under SEO and Statistics, there's the Bulk SEO Updater. I like doing it right from here instead of page by page because, well, as it implies I can do bulk updates from one location. If we take a look at the very first one, here's the page name, for example, the new page. Page name, different theme. Let's scroll through. Oh, page name, home. Here's the meta title. And as you can see, as the tab at top read, it says C5 sample site and then home. I'm going to simply erase the C5 sample site. And just to show you that I can, we'll change how the meta title of the page can be changed to home site for that particular page instead of home. I'll save that, return to website, and take a look. Now up at the top, home site of C5 sample site with a logo. Three easy areas to access edits on your site with a wonderful result. Please take time to launch these functions and experiment with it. Remember, if you don't like the way it comes out, with page versions you can revert to the way it was with the click of a mouse. Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Adrian Rick. I'm the Concrete 5 Arvex Web Hosting Liaison. And I'd like you to join me again. At any time that you don't see a topic that you'd like covered, feel free to contact me at adrianrick at arvix.com.